Hello, my name is Duff, and today we'll be going over regular crazy talk. Regular crazy talk is supposed to be a sort of predecessor to crazy talk, as it is more confusing in its phrases and even its name. This is the story of a man named Stanley. So, it, uh, once you first click on it, it's going to be a blue screen, white text, blah blah blah, and there's going to be arrows that will cycle through uh, different texts. Now, as you could probably notice, between each one of these texts, there is special things appended to each one of them. Specifically, uh, the words quote, it says, and then quotation marks, um, just quotation marks, it says, etc. They'll be used in a later portion. But, this is not the right sheet, uh, this is. So, what you want to do is, as the diffuser, read out the main message first. Because, uh, well, read out the main message and then the digit. You don't have to specify uh, the quotation marks or the SS or basically the stuff appended if the number doesn't even match up. And you'll know what I mean in just a second. So, as an expert, we would look for it by pressing Control F. So it is wait, hold on, and it's this message. So, this message has a value of 6, and we look in each one of these columns that uh, that we just highlighted to see if any one of them is a 6. None of them is a 6, so we move on to the next message. Then we say, uh, the next message is, please mute yourself, and the digit is 2. So, we go to, please mute yourself. Yeah, it is this one, okay. And do we see the number 2 in any one of these? We do not. So, we move on to the next message. All available experts, please report to room 8 on. All available experts, please report. Yep. Our digit is a 4. Now, 4 is one of the things here, but we need to see if this is still the correct message. So, this is where we pay attention to the, uh, to the stuff appended. So, uh... At the top, uh, there's going to be different things that say, uh, the different variations of messages. So, this one is uh, where it's just a phrase. This one where it just has the words it says before the phrase. This one, it's where it says quote, and then the phrase, and then end quote. This one is the phrase in quotation marks. This is it says quotation marks, and then the phrase, and then quotation marks, it says in the phrase. Depending on what, um, on the words and quotation marks appended, it'll change which one is the digit. Uh, now as you can see here, there's the letter D. Uh, so, the D basically tells us if the message is valid or not. So, we use the, we use the corresponding column for the D based on the symbols and the words appended. So, we have the word, uh, since we have quote, phrase, and quotes, we're going to use the middle column for uh, for D. The middle column is in fact a 4, so the 4 on here, so this message is indeed valid. Now, like regular crazy talk, well, like crazy talk, where you need to hold or we need to toggle it at specific times. The way we determine this is by, uh, again, by the quote, uh, by the symbols and the words appended. So, the H tells you when to hold, and the R tells you when to release. So, the H is the first column, and the R is the third column in this case. So, for this example, we hold on 1 and release on 9. And just as, uh, and a nice little thing about this is it, ref it references one of the messages in Crazy Talk, where it, uh, where it says it changes the screen. But anyways, here is another another example. This one is just Hong Kong. Okay, and we have the number of three. Three is not present within any one of these three columns, so we move on. Okay, now it says I need laundry for one solve. 
Okay, good thing we actually got to this case. So, whenever it says, uh, whenever there's a brackets A and, or just brackets with a letter in it, that means that, uh, that it's any one of these options below it. So for, in this case, since it says I need a laundry for one soul, laundry is two. And the reason why this is important is because that is the digit that corresponds to the, um, to either the hold digit or release. And since we have, uh, and since there's a B and B is not listed here, that is the number that is append, well not appended, but, uh, stated for number B. However, our number is zero, and that is not present for either one of these, so we move on. Okay, now we have 3D maze, comma, my letters are this. So, we have the number of two, uh, it may be in one of these. So, we check, uh, my letters are ABH, so we check each one of these. ABH is a three, two is not within any one of these. So we move on to the next message. It says, were you saying something? Okay. Our thing is an eight. So we want to check the first column. Well, we want to check if it's the right phrase or not. The things appended is the word it says. So we go to it says, the digit, uh, the digit column is the first one. And we see that since the 8 is the digit, it is a correct phrase. So we have hold on 0 and release on 2. I'll do a third example just because uh, this module is a little bit short. Uh, let's see. So I'll do this one. Okay, so it says letters on swan. Okay. Uh, so, our number is a 2, we don't have a 2 in any one of these columns, so we move on. Well, the numbers for this one again. What are the numbers for this one again? 708. 4 is not present within any one of these, so we move on. So, it says, I thought... Ooh, okay, this is another interesting case because uh, this is this is one of those things where uh, just a single letter could throw you off. So the difference between these two is that this one is just a letter I, and this one is I apostrophe D, and I guess this one is I had. The example we have right now is I thought I, so the single letter. Notice how the options are still the same. But the numbers are different for the options, and so the, uh, zero is the position of A. Make sure that when you do this, you grab the exact right phrase. Okay, so it says, I thought I'd disable turn the key. Turn the key is a 2, so we have 5, 8, or 2. Se uh, 7 is not within 5, 8, or 2, so we move on. Never mind, it solved itself. So we have 9, 6, and 4. 9 is present, now oh, it's already at the bottom of the manual. Okay, so we have the first column. So, the words appended is it says. Uh, it says, so the D is in the first column, and since the D is in the first column here, then we know it's a valid phrase. So, the hold, uh, the hold timer is going to be on the right, and the release timer is going to be in the middle. So, it's going to be a hold on 4 and release on 6. I just missed it. No, perhaps you know not. That when no! You Why mode, did you do that? It's going to reset all the uh, messages. So, no, don't expect to have not. the same thing. Uh, other than that, I'm pretty sure there's nothing else I need to cover about regular Crazy Talk. Uh... Let's see. This the Yeah, no, there is nothing uh actually there is one thing. Is 
There is always going to be one correct phrase, so if you can't seem to find it, then have your diffuser specify, uh, like, the, each word or something. But other than that, there's nothing else I need to cover, so if you learned it, good job. Uh, if you have any uh, questions, leave them in the comments below, and get a job.